Rope Drop and Rise of the Resistance, round two. Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow, why don't ya? Especially because Tyler's joining us this morning. Or oh, we're joining Tyler? We're joining together. <laughs> Okay, so we are parked at 6.05. 6.06. Realize we forgot our popcorn bucket, and so we actually go back to the car and get it. Great. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like three out of five vlogs we say, we forgot the popcorn bucket. <laughs> Look at the sea of people. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good Who texted me? It's 6.30. Everybody's always, everybody's going right in the morning. We funneled left, and now I think there's only one turnstile. This entire side. All right, we're in the park. Everyone's got their phones out. Sarah's doing ours, because she has all of ours linked. 6.36? We're not sure if things changed. Okay, so Tyler just confirmed with the cast member. I think I like that. Yeah, it's fair. It is fair because, yeah. so now since, compared to the first time Sarah and I did this, now they're waiting until literal park open. They're letting people in, um, this is Hollywood Traffic. Boulevard. Yeah, Hollywood and Sunset Boulevard into the park and then right at seven, the app will be able to <clears> initiate. So we could get a really early boarding pass if we're, we could. if we're, Sarah, me and you will both try because I can, we can, Sarah's MDX is weird and if your friend's linked with me, you don't see Sarah. Only people that can see Sarah is herself and me because we're using no, the same login. Some bacon. I, I've been smelling bacon all morning. <laughs> right? All right, it's three really seconds, good. three seconds. <laughs> Well, of course, it's up for you and not for me. But for who? Tyler has it, but we can't join. I'm cutting that out. Dang. Should I join or no? No, because I won't be able to join with you. Go, 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 go. We're going to group 99? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's awful. That's so awful. I mean, we got it, so that's good. We got one. Well, maybe it's quicker now. Because I heard they were, no, but You're I, right. yeah, I, but I heard that, that they, if you had gotten so good at it that they were doing honorary groups and the people were getting called by four. If I didn't have my MBX issue, it would have been fine. Literally 7.04, and this is the Slinky Dog ride. It's already 70 plus minutes. All the way. That's insane. One of us. I know. Jeez Louise. This is crazy. When I came opening day, I waited like 10 minutes to get on Slinky. What? Yeah, I was one of the first. I got here at 4 a.m. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Well, this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go on the superior ride of Toy Story Land, and that is Alien Swirling Saucers. One half of the Brokar Project knows what it's called. Wait. Dog line continues and continues. Alien Swirling Saucers is a wonderful ride. And we walked on. And, we walked and it's on. better than Slinky Dog. Yeah. I mean, it is very different. Two of those rides are very different from each other. Just a little context of who I got so excited to see. It was our friend Callie, which is so funny because she, we met her a long time ago, like even with like the Fab 5207. I'll link her channel here. She posts a video every so often. She's too busy being a coordinator now at Disney. Um, but so good to see that, her. She makes me right so happy. How long did we wait? I think 20 minutes. Yeah. 20, 30? We're single ride for 20 and 30. 20 and 30. We still have to go to like a few moments. Moments. For now, continue moving all the way forward, filling all the available space. All the way forward, guys. All the way forward, filling all space. All the way forward. Terrafast pass after us. 810. 
Ten minutes. Perfect timing. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you guys still doing here? You were supposed to be at a show. There's Hidden Mickey. So there's one over there. Oh, up there. There's two Mickey Mouse, and then there's a Mickey Mouse like cartoon, not cartoon, comic strip. We can't find the other two! Well, Tyler looked online and said there was five. It's according to the Hidden Mickey app. There's a Hidden Mickey app? Yeah, they took the book and made it into an app. And it was $8. They just come up with everything these days. So the hints say there's three Mickey, one Minnie, and a Goofy that makes the five. So we found them all. Five points. Oh, points. and you get to win? And then you mark which ones you found. We're such a tourist today. That was a particularly great we're like a, we're towards the back. Yeah. I love when you can see the rest of the car. 10. Row 8.30, 10. so it was about 40 minutes, 45 yeah. minutes. But it was worth it because... It was a long, normal, like, standby line. Power line. Crazy. It is brutal. We this drawer with the key of imagination. <laughs> and the sun's up, and I think we're gonna take the Skyliner so we can enjoy our popcorn on the Skyliner and our Epcot. Wow. They're at boarding at 32-ish right really? now? Really? Yeah. Yes. What time is it? It's 9. Our yeah. friend said it'd probably be a 2 o'clock call though. Hi there! Hi, Hi everybody! Hi. Hello, how are you? Another citizen. We are not here during the day enough. Alrighty, we got our popcorn. We're headed to the Skyliner. We both forgot our sunglasses. In the car. But we're gonna go to the festival! Park. The festival festival! Best festival of the entire year. Service is available. Thank is you. We hope you enjoy yeah. the most magical flight on Earth. Petty. Oh, it's going to be cold. That's going to be all shops and stuff there. It's going to be massive. It's going to be bad for Oh, I can't wait for it all. Wow. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, they're going to two different spots, so they uh, say bye. 90 years old and still got it. That was the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire existence. <laughs> All right, we're not, it's, we're assuming it has something to do with Festival of the Arts, but right over there is, <laughs> right, is Peter's shadow there. It does feel like it's like 7 p.m. and the rest of the World Showcase isn't even open. There's somebody there being like, you gotta go that way. It is only 10. But the DBC, the DBC Lounge, the DBC lounge is open. Five hours already. And you're gonna be up for five more at least. Getting that DVC coffee. Get, did you do strawberry cream soda? I did. Tyler, unintentionally not realizing it's my drink, goes, I think I'm gonna go cream soda. I was like, you should get strawberry. He's like, really? I was like, I, it's the only drink. Oh, it's the good. only drink I get in here. That's really good. Dude. Coffee number two to go. We got our live stream going on. Fancy. We have a big Chicago flag hanging in our second picture. That's true. Just updating the vlog. Say hello to the vlog, everybody. All right, we just finished our live stream. That was probably the most fun live stream we've ever done. Oh, and the most painful. We and sat on the ground. Cross leg for an hour. So now we're gonna venture into the craziness of Epcot. And it's already boarding group 78 and it's only one o'clock. So we might actually get on before we three o'clock. do a one lap around the showcase. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll probably get on before we did when we were boarding group 77 and we're 99 today. I'm checking out all the artsy movies. I like all of these right here. Like yeah. Bridge. 
this. I want to live with that. Beautiful. Here's our one as is option for this festival. We will be getting it soon, not today. Alright. We're up to 92, so after we got some food, Tyler got some Mongolian beef stuff. And some rice. And some rice. This was $2.50. and like 50 cents. Good amount of rice. I'm finishing off the dill pickles. We got some almonds. And it's not on the menu. Yeah. Just exactly. ask. Can I get it as a side? Oh, sure. I That's love awesome. white rice. A lot of Disney stuff that they have like as side items, they have it as an a la carte on the menu. They just don't display it. Yeah. Thanks, Tyler. Same with the, the chips at in the UK pavilion. Ah. Mm -hmm. Look at the big goof man over here. Greeting everybody as they come in or go out of Epcot. Looking good. It is time to return to Hollywood Studios for our boarding group. We're at boarding group 98. <gasps> it has been a very long time since we've been on one of these. Have we been on one since we moved here? No. Are you ready? I'm so ready. All right guys, we're actually gonna vlog this time, so if you don't want to see anything about this, skip ahead. We're gonna yeah, vlog it though. We got rocks. We got plants. We got railings. For reference, it is 312 and we are in a line. What did our group get called? Around 245? Yeah, 245 for group for our boarding cast 90. And we were stopped outside, which we didn't do that last time. Yeah. So they went through hundred boarding groups in about eight hours. Yeah. Get ready for my favorite part of this queue. Built-in seating. Here we go. I think we're like within 10 minutes, but by the, we're in the armory in the cave of the Resistance base. All different kinds of gear. Down, up is bad. Up is real bad. 
different than when we rolled at last road. It, 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 it diverged at the, at the ad ad scene. We went the other direction oh, last time. You are we right. didn't get the saber this time. When we got the ad ad to shoot at us. Oh, that you're didn't right. happen last you're time. Right. It did feel like we were going like the opposite direction, but I didn't realize it was like totally That was different. insane. All right, Tyler's still processing it, but it is 412, so we spent about an hour from when we from the, line. From the beginning of the line through the queue, attraction yeah, out. Exit. I can't believe it's, that's an that's an experience. I thought I knew like the gist of what was gonna happen. Not okay. even close. Well, it's cool. Like we pointed out before, it's like it uses every trick in the book. Like there's Attraction animatronics, books. screens, drops, drop, right. It's just like everything. And it like it it, it like preps you for the ride. Like it gets you in the mindset that you're scared that you're escaping between dark side and light. Yeah. Like, so oh, good. Man. All right, today is the 19th of January. The message for today is by Susan Ween. Your life is an occasion. Rise to it. I love it. The sleepy girl has since woken up. My sleepy puppy you're talking about? No, you. <laughs> so it is. You're sleepy too. It's. It's just after midnight. I think Sarah fell asleep around 8 o'clock. Yeah. I watched a lot of Tiny, Ho Tiny Home Nation, watched some other Netflix shows, and then I watched World Trade Center, and Sarah woke up towards the end of that. But now it's time to go to bed. Yeah. This is a long two days. <laughs> what are we doing tomorrow? We have no plans. We have no plans. I thought about going to a park during the day. I thought about not doing anything all day. I thought about going to Universal. I don't know, but I don't think it's going to be as eventful as today and yesterday. <sighs> But yeah. I think it's, it's going to be a good thing. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>